All right, this weekend, the Days of the Dead Horror Convention <laughs> takes over the Plaza Hotel. It's not even October. It's sure to be a bloody good time like for it. fans of horror movies. The festival covers everything from horror films to music and pop culture. We have JC Fernandez there live at the Plaza Hotel with all the details. Hey, JC. He's brave. Oh, I, I'm definitely brave. You guys, this is amazing. It is so cool. If you're into horror films, pop culture, music, you want to be at the Plaza Hotel for the Days of the Dead Festival. This is Jessica. She's with the uh, organization. What's going on this weekend? So this weekend is Days of the Dead Horror Convention. It's one amazing show where a bunch of us come together who all love scary movies, scary TV shows, just anything scary. <laughs> and there's all kinds of stars here as well. Uh, great things to see. Who's this behind me right now? So this is Pinhead. And and he is actually created by the one and only Clive Barker, who's actually one of our celebrities attending this weekend. Yeah, I think my voice cracked. I'm so nervous being here because I'm nervous of these uh, horror stars that are here. Let's take a walk because if you're into horror movies, you can come down here and buy some collectibles. Let's spin around. Look at this wall of uh, monster heads, I guess you could say. Who do we have up on the wall? So we have Leatherface. We've got the one and only Michael Myers. Captain Spaulding. We've got Sam from the movie Trick or Treat. We've got a variety of characters. This is perfect too if you're uh, looking for a good Halloween costume. I love it. Let's spin around here if you're into artwork as well when it comes to horror artwork. What do we have here? So this is Fantasy Realms. They are a custom airbrushing company. They do a variety of artwork ranging from horror, Marvel, DC, anything and everything. They're very talented, very friendly, and I love their artwork. Uh, you guys are still kind of in the setup phase. Let's go down here because I did notice I recognized a star from one of my favorite movies. You guys remember Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure? You would recognize this guy as well. Hello, sir. How you doing? How you Good doing? Good to see you. Good seeing you. And of course, you played uh, Tilla the Hun. I guess I did. Yes, yes. <laughs> are you going to be in the new Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure movie? Not that I know of. Not that I know of. But I heard that it's going to be a good film. I'm sure they he, they do a great job. Great people. Well, maybe we could get your agent and get you in the next movie. We'll get that done. Okay. Let's check this out. Spin around. Thank you. Nice talking to you. Spin around here. We have some characters on the wall. Who do we got? So these are a bunch of different creatures from different movies, fan films. They're ranging from aliens, skeleton brides, and then we also have, you know, creepy masks. What, what's your favorite horror movie? My favorite horror movie is Trick or Treat. Um, it's four different tales all worked together, and Sam just happens to be one of my favorite killers. Okay, coming up, you guys have some musicians here as well. We're going to talk to the, uh, the last member of the Ramones who will be joining us, and maybe some more horror stars will be popping up. Let's we'll send it back to you guys in the studio. We're just talking about how we cannot really do horror films at all. No, I used to like them. And what's worse is if you're in the middle of a horror film you, and you're too scared, you have to stick with it. You have to finish it. It's worse if you stop halfway through, believe me. Words of wisdom from Lindsay Simon. You're watching Simon. a scary movie. All right.